Famous actors don't fart, do they? They do, in fact. Want to know who passed the gas? Did it make it to the big screen? Keep watching to find out the unfortunate details. Judd Apatow's films are renowned for their moments of impromptu unscripted comedy. And for This Is 40, national treasure Paul Rudd utilized his tushy-tickling talents for an improvised scene which made the movie. For the moment in question, Rudd's character Pete is having a conversation with his wife Debbie, played by Leslie Mann, about whether their marriage lacks passion. Naturally, this is the perfect moment for Pete to serve up a set of casual rectum rumblers, all of which were apparently 100% real. Rudd told Female First, I just felt it coming and went with it. Don't do that! What am I doing? Don't fart in the bed! He explained that on top of the fart being a cheap comedic tool, it was also the right choice for his character at that moment, adding, That kind of intimacy is what marriage is about. You wouldn't fart in front of someone you're dating, but you'd certainly fart in front of your wife. It may have been right for the character in the scene, but was it right to do in front of his clearly horrified co-star? Certainly, Rudd was able to jokingly acknowledge that anybody with any decency would never fart in front of someone else in such a manner to Jewish Journal, and particularly not when you're shooting a scene in a movie. Still, he must be proud. In an interview with Shortlist, Rudd suggested that being able to blow an immaculately timed backdoor salute on cue was, quote, an ultimate life aim. Achievement unlocked, pal. Paul Rudd's spontaneous stinker was good, but it doesn't hold a candle to Benicio Del Toro's impressive farting feats on the set of The Usual Suspects. In one of its most iconic scenes, the film's criminals find themselves uncontrollably cracking up with laughter during a police lineup. Apparently, they weren't acting. On the DVD commentary for the film, actor Kevin Pollack confirmed that the laughter was real, and that gas had galvanized their giggles, saying, Del Toro farted like 12 takes in a row. As reported by Cinema Blend, the intention for the original scene was for it to be played straight. However, editor John Ottman left the moment in because it worked so well. The farts may be inaudible in the final cut, but the camaraderie it caused among the actors arguably made the scene one of the best of its kind. On Twitter, screenwriter Christopher McQuarrie even credited Del Toro's criminal colon collapse as having solved a major script issue for him. The film needed a scene of the suspects bonding, something which he believed, quote, stops the story cold. Instead, Del Toro's trouser rumbles naturally bonded the characters, because farts are the funniest thing in the world when someone, like director Brian Singer, is telling you to be serious. McQuarrie wrote in the since-deleted tweet, Since then, I've held to the belief that sometimes you're good and sometimes someone farts. In 2021, Spider-Man No Way Home served up a plethora of fun Spidey surprises to the joy of comic book fans everywhere. Zendaya, unfortunately, experienced a Spidey surprise of a different nature. Her co-star and real-life beau, Tom Holland, apparently farted on her during a scene where the two did some web-slinging together. The less-than-heroic admission came courtesy of the British actor who freely, and some might even say proudly, shared the anecdote on SiriusXM. While explaining the less-than-glamorous realities of filming the scenes where Peter Parker swings with MJ, Holland admitted that he once let out a friendly neighborhood spider fart on his co-star. He shared, Yeah, I farted on Zendaya, unfortunately. It's tough, the suit's tight, the harness squeezes it out. Clearly, the two have a great relationship, because Zendaya was pleasantly calm about the experience. She did explain, however, that it was obvious that he farted because she, quote, felt the rattle on her thigh. But then, Zendaya seems to have a penchant for such humor. As a guest on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, the star confessed that she and her Dune co-star, Timothy Chalamet, would break the ice on set with some good old-fashioned fart jokes. Fear might be a mind killer, but farts? Apparently, they're good for the noggin. Within the nightmarish confines of Robert Eggers' period seaman dark comedy, The Lighthouse, one repetitive noise sours the isolating space. That is, the roaring rips of Willem Dafoe's character's back end. Naturally, the actor is a legit thespian, and so he conjured his body's own personal foghorn to deliver authentic blasts of gas when necessary. I'm sick of your smell. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. During an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald, Defoe suggested his vegetarian diet helped with his delivery. However, he was humble in taking too much credit for the brown haze of the final noises, suggesting, for the most part, they were added in post-production. Speaking to Den of Geek, he further suggested that half of the farts heard on screen were actually his. But is that the complete truth? Describing the film's fart noises as bespoke flatulence, the movie's supervising sound editor, Damien Volpe, called the character's anal barks the mystery of the lighthouse. He then appeared to dispute Defoe's claims that they weren't his actual farts. Instead, he told Vulture, I think I'm the only one who knows where the flatulence comes from. Whether the film's final farts were those executed by Defoe is perhaps beside the point. What's clear from the actor's own anecdotes is that he was most definitely letting rip on set, whether they kept the final cut of him cutting one or not. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Sadly, not every celebrity that farts on set is worthy of an Academy Award, but they still make for a great anecdote regardless. During filming of The Da Vinci Code, co-stars Paul Bettany and Tom Hanks came away with a great one after a fight scene ended with the unholy sound of a rectal relic. The incident took place while the two were filming a scene where Bettany had to punch Hanks in the stomach. Relaying the story on The Late Late Show, the British star stated that it was very quiet on set for the stunts and everyone was worried somebody would get hurt. Apparently, nobody was concerned about what actually happened, when America's Most Wholesome Star farted really, really, really loudly. As Bettany mused to James Corden, he was unsure how to respond and said, "'What do you do when the biggest movie star in the world farts?' As Hanks fondly recalled with great humor on The Graham Norton Show, one appropriate response might have just been laughter. He stated proudly, "'When I hit the floor, I farted.'" He added that it's why nobody really asked him to do such scenes in films. "'Now, when it comes down to fight scenes, I get cast as the pie eater.'" Regrettably, the fart wasn't kept in the movie. She's quite rightly celebrated as being one of the most beautiful actors in the world, but back in 2005, Ava Mendez was also apparently renowned for her farts. The Training Day star and partner of Ryan Gosling made her talents be known during the filming of a short-lived MTV reality show called Trippin'. Cynically described by Pop Matters as being a showcase of, quote, celebutan ecotourism, the series was hosted by Cameron Diaz. Apparently, Mendez wasn't too concerned about emitting what could have been an environmental disaster's worth of methane when she and Diaz went to war over their gas emissions. Speaking to Boston.com, Mendez confirmed that while they shared a hotel room and side-by-side -side beds, they became competitive over their respective, quote, disgusting bodily functions. She told the outlet, Cameron is a big old belcher, but I can't belch. One night, I had a heavy dinner, so I combated her belching with something I could do. It was an Ava Cameron fart belch off. The competition was even caught on camera during an episode of the show. In one scene in particular, Diaz complains to the camera that she can't sleep before an audible fart can be heard, followed by Mendez's laughter. Diaz then laughs and says, "'We can't sleep because Ava won't stop farting.'" Meanwhile, her roommate denies the accusations, calling them, quote, "'Such a lie.'" Long before Chris Pratt became the internet's least favorite Chris, and he started voicing every cherished cartoon character of your childhood, there was Andy Dwyer, the actor's beloved bumbling everyman from Parks and Recreation. Behind the scenes, Pratt was renowned for being one of the silliest members of the entire cast. During the show's run, its blooper reels were consistently stacked full of hilarious outtakes, featuring the actor cracking everyone up on set with his improvisations and behavior. This included his legendarily awful farts. In one blooper, for instance, Pratt joined forces with co-star Nick Offerman to perform what a disgusting Aziz Ansari called, a one-two punch combo of a fart so loud and audible it ruined a take. In another, the actor produced such a horrifying noise with such sustained duration and power that he joked he'd crapped his pants on camera. Believable. In 2019, the cast reunited for a Paley Fest presentation celebrating the show, where Aubrey Plaza didn't hesitate in pointing the finger at the worst on-set farters. When asked by Offerman which cast member made her favorite noises with his or her body, the actor pointed her finger sharply at the culprits. She said, "'Nick and Pratt used to fart all the time, and it would make Amy Poehler and I really angry, so I don't appreciate that question.'" Mm, okay. Somebody should have complained to the environmental department of the Pawnee Town officials. From one confined space gaseous hellscape to another, with the delightful story of Will's apparently horrific honkers on the set of Men in Black, during an oral history of the film Sugar Water Scene with Vulture, director Barry Sonnenfeld recalled that Will had some, quote, really nasty farts. Apparently, one in particular brought the set to a standstill. As described by the director, Smith and co-star Tommy Lee Jones were in a rig on a green screen stage, filming the Midtown Tunnel sequence, wherein their car goes upside down and drives on the ceiling. The crew managed to get the rig upside down after about 10 minutes of work and were ready to shoot when Smith began to apologize and asked that they be immediately removed. Sonnenfeld explained that Smith had farted so bad in this enclosed space, but that somehow his co-star played it cool and was affable about the incident despite the stench. He added, "...but man, as soon as we opened it up, Tommy was out of there." Smith's gastrointestinal issues are renowned within his own family. During an episode of Red Table Talk, the actor made the worrying revelation that he can go three days without a bowel movement, prompting some concern from his son Jaden Smith, who commented, "...that is not good. That's why your farts smell like that. Yikes, where's that memory wiper when you need it?" For many, Channing Tatum is represented by one core image, the actor using his gyrating body to spank an entire woodwork studio while grinding to Genuine's Pony and Magic Mike. 
It's a masterful scene. Please, give yourself a moment to drench in its memory. It's also with great apology that we have to dash this image for another. During the filming of 21 Jump Street, Tatum was apparently a chronic barter on set and terrorized his co-stars with them. The putrid accusation came courtesy of Jake Johnson, who was asked by people what one of his favorite memories was while filming the 2012 movie. For whatever reason, he suggested that being the subject of Tatum's chronic gastric attacks was apparently it for him and proceeded to divulge how his co-star welcomed him on set. Johnson explained, It was my first scene, and Channing kept ripping the grossest farts I have ever smelled. He was dying laughing and cupping them and throwing them at Jonah Hill and myself. While there appears to be no other evidence around that Tatum's bottom is anything less than delightful, during promotion of 22 Jump Street, one particular video appeared to suggest Hill complaining of Tatum's bodily functions. At the beginning of a chat with Pate, the actor joked, I love when they just turn the fan off and leave us in a hot, small, fart-smelling room. Not to point fingers, but Tatum looked awfully amused. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.